Hey guys, it's Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can tune and clean up vocals that were recorded along with acoustic guitar on a single mic using the Hit and Mix Infinity software. Now, Infinity is an incredibly deep program. I couldn't possibly show you everything it does in one video. It would take probably 30 videos to show you all that. So instead, I want to show you just one cool thing you can do here. So you might be in a situation where you record a live song with just one mic, maybe acoustic guitar and vocals, and maybe you're trying to put this on video and you get a great take but there's just a few spots in the vocals or maybe even a few spots in the guitar that aren't right. And you would think that because everything was done on one microphone that you can't fix those things. Well, Hit and Mix Infinity allows you to separate all of the different elements in a recording or even within a mix. And you can mix those elements and uh, reduce noise, clean up, and even tune the voice in some of these, uh, in some of these recordings. Hit and Mix has also partnered with me on this video to give away a free copy of the Infinity software to one of my subscribers. This is my very last giveaway for the year. Uh, so if you are interested in picking up this software for free, just uh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Hit and Mix's channel, and leave a comment below, and I'll randomly pick a winner in a week. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, this is just a quick recording I made with a single microphone. This is my with my Lewitt LCT 440. Don't tell me that you want to go. Just stay here with me, my darling. Never going to live the last days of our lives running free. Just stay right here with me. So it's okay, but there's a few spots in my voice uh, where I want to clean up the tuning a bit. So I'm just gonna drag this right into Infinity. And what this is going to ask is, what are we trying to rip from this recording? And there's a few different options. There's uh, voice if you're trying to tune vocals that are already isolated, uh, guitar, bass, single notes, unpitched like percussion instruments. There's also a general category that works uh, for like full mixes of songs. What I've found when you're working with just guitar, acoustic guitar and voice, is that the guitar um, rip function works the best. And I'm also going to choose the mix down to mono. It was all recorded on one microphone. So I'll click rip. It'll take just a quick second to uh, rip all of the elements of that recording. So if you were to use the general uh, rip mode, you would see a bunch of different instruments down here. It'll try to extrapolate the vocals, the bass, the guitars, the drums. Um, but because I used a, a simpler function, just guitar, it's basically just showing us guitar, unpitched high and low sounds. These are like percussive sounds and unassigned. And um, you can kind of pretty easily see where the vocal melody is in all of this. So I'm just gonna zoom in here and come to the beginning here. So to, to set your playhead, you just click up here. And then if you wanna go back to the playhead, you just hit return and playback will start from the playhead. To zoom, uh, you can press uh, command and use your scroll wheel or your trackpad, uh, and then shift will zoom in uh, vertically. So let's go back to the beginning here. Don't tell me that you wanna go. Okay, so I've got that first phrase there. Now, the thing about this is I'm not trying to perfectly tune this like I would with an isolated vocal. I'm just trying to clean it up a bit, make it sound five or 10% better. So I've got this very first note here. And if you select a note, it'll play back the note for you. And if you click on it, it'll play that note solo. So these notes, individual notes like this are called regions. So it looks like this is on E flat, but the key of the song is actually E minor. So I'm about a half step flat. So what I can do is I can grab this note and I can pull it up to E. So the grid here, the pitch grid is a lot like auto tunes pitch grid where you're, you're snapping to the lines. You're not snapping to the space between the lines like you would with Melodyne. Um, so you can pull that up. Or if you go up to view, you can turn off your uh, snap to semitone guide and you can freely move the note around. So let's put that right on E there. Don't tell me that you wanna go. On the word tell here, I feel like it's a little flat. 
You can see that I'm right on B flat. It probably should be more up on B. So let's pull that up oh. a bit. Let's see what that all sounds like as well. Don't tell me that you want to go. Um, here I've got uh, a bit of a flat note here. Let's bring the playhead over here. Wanna go. Wanna go. Wanna go. Uh, so that's actually two different notes. I feel like this note should come down a bit. So let me actually separate this note. Now the way you can separate a note is you right click and you select split. And I can split that note uh. right there. Now what I can do is use my standard arrow tool or move tool. And I can move this note around freely. Just like so. So let's pull it down a bit. Uh. Let's pull this one up a bit while we're at it. Now, another thing you can do uh, that I find particularly helpful is you actually have absolute control over the pitch of these different uh, regions. If you right click, there's another tool here called draw pitch. And it's, it's a little difficult to get used to, but you can actually draw in pitch curves for each of your notes. It takes, a, it takes a little getting used to. It's definitely not something that's super easy to use, um, but you can draw in your own custom pitch curves. Let's try doing something like that. And then down here as well. Let's see what that sounds like. There we go. Okay, so let's move over a bit here to the next phrase. So I just want to stress again that this is not for like hardcore vocal tuning, snapping every single note perfectly in place. This is about just fixing little things that can help the recording be maybe five or 10% better. Just stay here with me. I think that's all fine. Just stay here with me, my darling. Yeah, the word me there sounded a little weird. Let's drag over that. Me, my, me, my. Yeah, this note seems to go kind of flat. So let me use the draw pitch option here and really what I'm going to try to do is mimic the curve of the original pitch but kind of make it center more around this note A here instead of going a half step flat it's actually a little sharp at the beginning too so I can try knocking that down just a bit and by the way, selecting tools is a bit quicker when you uh, memorize uh, the shortcut keys for all these. They're just the number row. Never gonna live the last. Never gonna live the last. Yeah, that's pretty flat. It looks like this is separated into two different notes. This is sort of like a scoop up to the note, so that's fine. But yeah, these I'm gonna drag over those. Right click and choose the join tool, and you can join those together. Another way to do it is just to drag over the notes and press gonna live. Command J, and it'll join them together. So once again, I'm gonna use my draw pitch tool, and I'm gonna try to follow the curve of the original as best I can, and keep this note on D rather than on C sharp. Never gonna live the last days of our lives Running free, just stay right here with me I think there was something over here that sounded a little weird. Just stay right here with me. Yeah, I feel like this right here is a little flat. So let's just draw the pitch in so it's a little more centered on A. Just stay right here. And I think up here it's a little sharp. Yeah, so let's round this out a bit with the draw pitch tool. Let's try that. Just stay right here with me. All right, so I could keep going, but I think you get the point. I'm just cleaning up the vocal tuning here. I'm not uh, doing any major, major, you know, reconstructive surgery like I would with maybe uh, an isolated vocal. But again, keep in mind, we're tuning a vocal that's in a recording that also has acoustic guitar in it. And we're doing it in a way that doesn't affect the tone of the acoustic guitar and is also pretty transparent. It's definitely passable. And if I released this song, say with a video of me playing the song live, uh, this would be totally passable. You would never know that I tuned up the vocals. So let's listen to that whole passage just one more time. Don't tell me that you wanna go. 
Just stay here with me, my darling Never gonna live the last days of our lives Running free Just stay right here with me Cool, so that's Hit and Mix Infinity. Again, remember, this is an incredibly deep software. This is just one tiny little thing that it can do among dozens and dozens of other functions uh, that it can perform. So let me know if you wanna see more videos with Hit and Mix Infinity. I find it to be an incredibly powerful software that does have a bit of a learning curve and I've slowly been, been learning it. So let me know if you wanna see more videos on other things that Hit and Mix Infinity can do. And remember, we're giving away a free copy of this, so make sure to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Hit and Mix Infinity, and leave a comment below. Again, this is my very, very last giveaway for my holiday giveaway. Thank you, everyone, for watching my videos. Thank you for participating in this. Congrats to all the winners. I'll still be picking winners for the next week to come. I hope you all have a great new year, and I'll see you in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.